the face of twisted bizarreness. Because they take these people who are low-grade morons and they build them up and say, you're going to run the globe. We're going to arrest everybody. We're going to put everybody that doesn't agree with us in psychiatric facilities. And they've got this huge banker and media funding. But despite all that, we're still exposing them and defeating them. So now they're getting more and more desperate, saying, arrest us and put us in psychiatric facilities. Arrest us. She says, the professor on screen, that you are a racist if you're not for carbon taxes, if you're not admitting global warming is man-made and real, then humans are bad. Of course, the eugenicists run the global warming movement and openly admit it's there to cut off Latin America, Asia, and Africa's funding and their own infrastructure, so billions, billions will die. You know, most of this planet lives on less than $2 a day, right? You know that in the UN in Africa is pushing people off their land and they're starving to death. You know they're shooting people. But I'm a racist because I don't want Africa to have its infrastructure cut off and I want Africa to be able to have power plants because I want to build Africa up. I want to empower humanity because I know what comes around goes around. I mean, that's an intellectual thing that I know you reap what you sow, karma. At a gut level, my head's screwed on straight. We're going to talk about that in a moment. So, see, I'm bad. I'm not one of these people. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor. Global warming alarmist equates climate denial with racism. We have to be put in mental facilities because we get the emails from the UN admitting it's all a fraud and excuse to set up global taxes over everybody. But I'm not supposed to look at that because, because she's like, <laughs> I'm a professor. I run things. <laughs> ah, mental institutions. Drug them. And, and listen, it's hundreds of them. It, it's the UN. She's just one of them out there pushing all of this in everybody's face. So it is for that reason, and we're going to talk about this with Mark Moreno coming up, because now they got climate pushers saying we should be drugged if we don't agree. And that's part of the part of the new vaccine you're going to get. They're saying, well, you're not going to worry about anything. You're going to be a good biological android that does what the master class people that are mad at everybody else, uh, says the ultimate creepy, weird hippie who claims they're all liberal and wants to guilt you into doing what they say. No, this is a control freak on steroids. Okay, but she knows what to do. She'll get you. <laughs> There's some dark void in the universe spiraling out, possessing people with demons. <laughs> Let me tell you, those eyes, they say it all right there. I mean, we're talking goblin creature. But <laughs> side issue... <laughs> It's just like all of them. Let's go ahead and give her, this is only the fourth time I've given one of these in eight months on air on the nightly news. We're going to give her the coveted Skeksy Award. Uh, this, this only goes to people, well, that show they've got the talent that it takes to be a Skeksy leader. Uh, I mean, if you're into soul-sucking tyranny and arresting those that you disagree with and putting them in psychiatric facilities, you win the Agenda 21 Skeksy Award. And so to Professor uh, Kerry Norgard, who, who loves the system, loves the state, is funded with our tax money. To her, we give her the highest award, the Skeksy Award. For you, my darling, here it is. All right. <laughs> You are the Skeksy Award winner. Let me tell you, Professor, this is prestigious. This is like getting an Oscar. I mean, and don't worry, somebody of your caliber, crazed with control freak lust, but with a tiny little brain, you, you, you are going to have, this is not just your only moment in the sun. We're going to go to break later and spend a lot of time with you. Because we know you're the special people that hate humanity so much that you're carrying out the Agenda 21. Because look at her, she's like smiling. She's like, ah, green skull. Ah. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's like looking into Hell's Gate. Every photo of her online is the same thing. It's just like, ah, ah, ah. I mean, she, <laughs> she realizes it's like, the planet will soon be ours. <laughs> I release me soon the light will be removed ah! and it's like yeah I was <laughs>
<laughs> so, so that's coming up. They don't like me, destroy them. Ah! So that's, uh, no one likes me. Cut their power off. Ah! So uh, I am a minion of the dark force. Kneel to me. Drug him. All right, I got to stop right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is, let me tell you, I can look right into her soul. Oh, what do I see? She's got like 50 cat boxes she's got to clean out when she gets home. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, that woman sees a dog. It's just like, ah! <laughs> she's like freaking out right now watching this. How do I know? I don't need surveillance inside your bungalow to see all the cat droppings. Staring into the abyss one does go mad. Let me tell you, you put her face up on screen, it just sends me wild. I mean, one look into those crossed eyes. Because <laughs> she's, oh, yeah. I mean, she's just staring at your soul. She's like, I'll get your country. <laughs> oh, these people won't see who I am. That won't stop me. It's all night. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Mm. Uh. All right. That's enough. Yeah. Take me now to brain-eating vaccines. <laughs> Let's move from something to something less horrifying.